after dancer people no don't know there again we have valiant to find himself in a sticky situation valiant gets stuck in our elevator but as much as the artist has got through that him still find some time for a joke around and a enjoy himself doctor love to people i get some bashing after i'm getting nigel boy in first paycheck the topic where here everybody at talk about is that them hope dr love now rap niger boy and we have this reporter goron where i show his footer hype and bunty killer it look like them end them feud from 2016. we even have this lady come out and defend vice cartel she make we know say no reason or dead there for vice cartel in a prison the justice system just flex them muscle to keep the artist behind bars she also abash the dpp approach to the situation she make we know say the DPP now come out and explain nothing to nobody. A only vice got a liar, then we see I take action. And by right, or everything at my privy council, the DPP should have come out with a full explanation and make the people them know why them keep vice cartel in a prison. So that one a very interesting people, but before we go to it, we just want to give you a like, share, and subscribe that are even not subscribers yet. Hit the notification bell too if you don't miss an update and comment in the comment section if you see somebody video on a like or dislike make we run the intro for the people them now yeah people this is real Youth tv this entertainment channel giving the latest dancehall reggae and even local news across the island we now ask the people them for much we just want to give you a like share and subscribe that if you find the content entertaining also you can hit the notification bell if you never miss an update make we show the latest topics them now yeah people the first one ever deal with a doctor lover get a bashing after i'm getting niger boy in first paycheck which i'll get that one from people are from quest time we are going to run the video for now and then we are going to show you some of the bashing comments where doctor lover get so people see this is his first check you can't see the number but Niger never said that nobody ever before. Oh, is Lord, watch out, that's why I'm blind again. <laughs> Lord, it's so this is his first check he's getting. And a lot of artists never get a check like this with this amount. Can't say the amount, but this is a blessing. And for my birthday, yeah. mm. and it over to him. Yeah. We're in the bank and deal with business people. So God is good and it's great that we can make this happen. Now this is your first check here. Yeah. Don't get that seat, guys. <laughs> ah. Yeah people, you see what I go on there, so, and as we said before, a quest time we get it from. In the comment section now, one user say, just make sure you not rob the youth, our father God I go have him way with you. One more user say, him first paycheck, so he never did get pay from streams, and his stage show appearance, and the tour where him do. One more user say, for some reason, Dr. Love or whatever his name, I don't trust him. A other user come out and I say, after so much bookings, the money just a land. And an ex concern user say, Hope you are not robbing him. So, yeah, people, you see what I go on there, so. And if you don't have any opinion on the matter, you can just make a note in the comment section. We are moving on to the next one, I know. We have Valiant that gets stuck in our elevator. The thing is, I know Valiant now moves shaky and a serious up himself. He morally a run joke and a run a vibes out of the situation. So, no, but that we are fucking in. Good one. Yeah, so we're in New York and we're stuck in an elevator. We just have all our vibes. Yeah, we there. You don't know. Sometimes when we see them like a rocky road, there are some blessings that come and the devil that try to stop you. I lie. I lie. I lie. We never said the fuck. We just walk this elevator. Pull your fuck up. Yo, what me a plan for do right now? You call the emergency people them dumb funny. What them say? Fire brigade that come. When me done, when the door come off, I live, you know? Yeah. Holy say, We are moving on to the next one now. As I said at the intro, one reporter go on, we are sure we say footer hype and bunty killer finally end them feud where they go on since 2016. We will get that one from people or from Yard Hype Entertainment, so we are going to read it out for we get a better overs. Then we start off the report with a title that say Bunty Killer not cross and angry at footer hype anymore. On Sunday, Bunty Killer shared a video on social media of footer hype with whom he had a fallout years ago. 
The two have not been seen eye to eye since at least 2016. Actually, Futa Hype has been showing gratitude admits the fallout in recent times, reminding everyone multiple times that it was Bunty Killer who got him the big break in dancehall. On Monday, May 7, Futa Hype shared a video of Bunty Killer performing a song he produced. As a caption for the post, Futa Hype wrote, Greatness can't hide one of Bunty Killer's biggest songs produced by me. Can't stop sing, can't stop play, as me reach yard, me go produce another one, just watch and see. Futa Hype next followed up with a lengthy statement on May 9 after Bunty Killer revealed that he had a major surgery a couple years ago. Futa Hype wrote, I'm definitely gonna get this picture frame after seeing that post on Bunty Killer page about his surgery. Made me look into all the good things the general has done for me in life. Futa Hype shared his most recent post involving Bunty Killer over the weekend. In fact, he was reviewing one of Bunty Killer's new songs. Bunty Killer on Sunday reshared a part of Futa Hype's video and stated, Futa Hype reviewing and reacting to life of the party. While Bunty Killer did not make any mention of himself and Futa Hype reunited, the post serves as a statement that he is no longer upset with the outspoken selector. So yeah people, if you don't agree with the report, you can make a know in the comment section. Me kinda agree with it still because if Bunty Killer did a pre Futa Hype same way, he would repost back Futa Hype video. Although Futa Hype a review theme song, so maybe that's a one of the motive that's why Bunty Killer repost it. Can't really show sure still people, but you can drop your opinion in the comment section. Next one we are going to you know people are this female we go by the name of Angel. She come out and a defend Vice Cartel and I make you know say there is no reason for the justice system to keep Vice Cartel in a prison. The Privy Council squash Vice Cartel conviction, so the DPP for come out and give you a full explanation of why they might keep Vice Cartel in a prison. Make a react from the Vice Cartel something. This Vice Cartel case again. I mean, I'm not going to stop reacting on it until when I see Five Scottsdale walk out of that jail, prison, horizon. A lot of people is not going to like this video, but that's your opinion. That's your feelings. But I'm not going to stop, stop speaking out because I'm not going to speak out because of guilt or innocence. I'm not going to already, I'm not speak out because of green or orange. I'm not going to speak out because of... I do not come here with favoritism. But come here, sir, for react based on what I've seen, the law, your rights, and the people, what the people ask and what the people would like. Me I gotta react from the one because I realize that this vice cartel case is way more than what it appears to be. Now let me say this. Your opinion is valid. Mine is valid too. You have the right to like and to dislike who you dislike. But you now fit, take it to the next level of disrespecting nobody if you don't like somebody. I mean, I'm going to wish bad for nobody. Me will never say you for what or you for go dead because me not like you. Never. That's, that's hate. You have a whole bunch of hatred. And we hate and we dislike most of the times because we don't know and we don't understand. Let me get into it. Isaac McKinnon filed an appeal, not even an appeal, he filed in the court for atheist corpus, right? Let me say this, him should have filed it from day one. Him should not have wait for the DPP play fear on number one. Because number two, it's more than what this seems to be. Why is this prosecution office and these people so headstrong persistently? determined to hold this man in jail without a charge without no reasoning without coming to the jamaica public on a platform and said this i am the dpp these are the reasons why we are still holding vice cartel in jail and this is what the jamaica prosecution office will be doing in the next two and three months first of all the prosecution office in jamaica i have no respect for the people of jamaica them not explain and telling them nothing where they might do and where they might go do them just do it because apparently this governing body we're down there is moving to our where to move from we no longer democrat it seems like we're no longer a democratic society it's like a dictatorship these people that are in these offices are dictating and telling you what and when them want telling them what they want telling them like i said 
she should have came out from the moment the Privy Council send it back and void this conviction and explain what the next process is going to be, what is going to cost us. But them not under that. Number one, and let me come from, and I come from she. Vibes cartel, I'm going back from. From day one, Isaac should have filed that. First of all, the Privy Council send this man case back to the lower court. His conviction was void which means he has no no longer does he have a conviction over his head he's not convicted of anything he's not a convict which means he has no felon he's not a felon he has no felonies he has no misdemeanor he have nothing he's sitting in jail since the privy council overturned not overturned reverse void his conviction them not charge him them not explain to the Jamaica people what they're doing. Them just have him in jail sitting. Tell me now, why? What is this about? Is this more than what we, the Jamaican public, and we, the world, know about? I'm not asking a question. Me no business who don't like cartel. Me telling you all the time, you know. I am not here about green, orange, labor right, PMP. I am here about my rights and your rights. And vice cartel rights has been violated from the very first day that the Privy Council void this conviction. I mean, I want nobody come tell me, sir, it's due process. What is due process? How is this due process? What, in what part is it due process? When there is not a charge, they haven't charged him with anything, but you are keeping him in, in, in there for your reasons, for your control. Because again, you know, this is bigger than what we, what we know. I am not say this, I don't care who don't like Vice Cartel, you have your opinion and I have mine. I don't know nothing about you more than what I heard in the media. So I do not form an opinion on whether I like him or not. I form my opinion on the rights of your right, my right and the law. And if this was your brother and your sister, would you want them to sit in jail with no charges? None? Well, he has been held there with no bond, with no bail. How can you give somebody a bond and a bail when you have to charge them? You have to charge them first. So this APS corpus that Isaac McKinnon filed for means he's telling you that you're holding this man in jail with no due process, with nothing. And he should be released. And if you are going to charge him, charge him. And there is so much more steps that you, the DPP office and the prosecution office could do <coughs> to alleviate such a big, nasty stress of what's happening. Where Vice Cartel is going to go if you release him and his all records not and release him to report to Waterford Police Station three, four, five, six times a week? Where am I going to go? Where am I going to go? First of all, you know he has medical issues. They're showing how much on a really wicked and determined to make this youth die in prison. Where am I going to go? Why don't you let him go on some kind of uh, um, humanitarian health crisis to go seek medical attention? We do not have nothing for him. He's not charged. But may I show him that there is more to this vibes cartel than you know. This big rich, these rich people. Big people who, who die in Jamaica were getting a problem. I see them get bail. I see take a while for don't even lock them up. We don't investigate first and then they lock up. But with the poor youth, they lock up and then they investigate. A it go. That was poor for you now. Don't know the report that we see them. We like them. We put them up. Phone like them. If you're more than liking and subscribing, give you a subscribe. Hit the notification bell too. For now, miss an update. This is Reloots TV. We're out.